I almost feel like we, you know, I, I mean, I guess I, I've run out of ways to describe it because it's so ludicrous that we've entered just this different parallel universe. I feel like, like it's one of those Star Trek episodes that they jump through a mirror and they're in like some weird place that's like sort of the same but completely different. I mean, we're really, you know, yesterday it wasn't just that Foster Freeze's ridiculous like 1950s home ec remark, you know, his pre-9-11 mentality as in 9-11-1901. Right. But... Uh, but but I mean, in the same day, you've got the the the, the state representative, I believe it was, imbecile um, Republican from New Hampshire, pointing out that birth control causes cancer, so women should avoid using it anyhow. You've got Daryl Issa holding his his. Wait a minute, are you talking about the woman from New Hampshire? I thought it was a man. Am I wrong? This one, what's her name? Potter. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Nutter, Nutter, Nutter. Okay, no, no, no. Daughter. So was it yeah. was it a woman? Am I wrong? Yeah, but you got. She's not. <laughs> do we have the audio for this? Okay, here's the scene because you're you you don't even understand how crazy this is, Cliff. She is in a hearing, I guess, in New Hampshire. They're talking to, I guess, some type of uh, medical expert. The medical <laughs> expert is so befuddled by what she what she claims here that he doesn't even know what the heck like. She is, she is claiming that birth control pills cause prostate cancer in men. <laughs> okay, so here is, uh, here is the uh, the exchange, and listen to the medical guy. He's got a look on his face, like, like you know, he, he obviously probably just had an aneurysm. He has to testify in front of these people, and there's no way that he can afford to say. That's the dumbest are... thing I've ever heard out of the mouth <laughs> of a sentient human being. Listen to this. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for taking my question, Representative. Um, this is a, about religion, the, the HR, but since you had mentioned uh, um, birth control, um, as a man, would it interest you to know that Dr. Bernstein uh, just published an article that um, links the pill to prostate cancer? in the children that are born from these women? Okay, stop it. She says, I don't know if you could hear it well. She says, would it interest you to know that a, uh, and she holds up a piece of paper, you know, Dr. Rothstein or whatever it is, says has linked uh, the contraceptive pill to prostate cancer in men? And the guy says, you mean in children born from women who've been taking the pill like he's trying to get his head around this what exactly the hell she's talking about. yes and, and she says no and i what's guess what's her name what's her name nutter <laughs> it's perfect I, isn't I it? guess, nutter i guess i guess <laughs> the theory is that if a woman is taking birth control and a man engages in copulation with this woman his prostate is in danger um wow would it be possible he get pink eye too? <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to make sure all the possibilities no. here. Maybe we may have to cut that part out, Cliff. Uh, the uh, <laughs> so. you may have to cut that part out. I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry.